in the previous lesson, we described monohybrid inheritance as the inheritance involving a single trait one at a time. In this video, we will discuss dihybrid inheritance. Specifically, we will try to predict phenotypic expressions of traits following the patterns of inheritance using dihybrid cross. In one of Mendel's experiments, he studied principles behind the simultaneous inheritance of two traits. Dihybrid inheritance pertains to the inheritance of two traits at a time. The law of independent assortment states that inheritance of two or more characteristics occurs separately from each other. This implies that the inheritance of these characteristics are not codependent and they have equal chances of being passed on to offspring. Mendel crossed two garden peas that were homozygous for seed color and seed shape. One parent was homozygous for yellow round seed, while the other parent was homozygous for green and wrinkled seeds. To perform the test cross, we must first identify the P1 generation, and the other one has pure green wrinkled seeds. Then, write the parent cross together with the 16 square Punnett square. In forming the gamete combination for this cross, we can use the FOIL method. Let's try to FOIL the first parent. That's first, outer, inner, and last. Now, we have the first gamete combination which we can write on the top of the Punnett square. Let's try to FOIL the second parent. The second parent is pure green wrinkled seed which is lowercase y, y, r, R. First, outer, inner, and last. Now we get these gamete combinations which we can write on the left side of the squares. Notice that the gametes are the same because it is what the parents can contribute in the formation. Remember that each gamete must have one allele of each gene. The next step is to combine the gametes to predict what the possible offsprings will be. Since the genotype of the parents are written with Y in the beginning, we will keep the same format. We should also put the capitals before the lowercase. In this example, the genotype is 16 is to 0 or 100% heterozygous yellow round seed and the phenotype is 100% yellow round seed. The F1 plants were allowed to self-fertilize. Now, try to predict the offspring of the crossing of two heterozygous yellow round seed. You may pause the video for more time. Using the FOIL method, we can now identify the gametes formed. Each plant produced have four kinds of gametes, uppercase Y, uppercase R, capital Y, small r, lowercase y, capital R, and lowercase y, and r. Since the F1 plants are allowed to self-fertilize, we have the same gametes for both sides of the square. In this crossing, we can say that the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. And the phenotype is 9 yellow round, 3 yellow wrinkled, 3 green round, and 1 green wrinkled. How did you do? In this video lesson, we used dihybrid cross to show the allelic pair of genes for a specific trait that separates and combines independently. If you like more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and always remember that you are all awesome.